Hey, what's up guys? So this is a working jailbreak for your iPhone SE in 2023. I'm running iOS 9.3.1. So this is just going to be if you somehow have a device that wasn't updated. I ordered this device online and I just got it. And it just so happens that, I, that um, I'm not on a device that has iOS 15, so I can actually do this. And so I look, as you can see, just to verify that this works, it is Cydia. Um, everything is working well. Um, it is the real sources. You know, we got everything like that. Like, this is crazy. I'm not using uh, a jailbreak in so long, and it's really exciting just to have a jailbroken device, um, which makes you want to switch over this thing full time. Um, but yeah, I'm actually, and I'm currently using my iPhone, I'm getting rid of it soon. And I figured this is the best way to transition to my new Android phone as well, because I'll have some, be able to have some fun with the jailbreak, get tired of it in a month, because uh, that's usually just me. It's usually what happens with me. Uh, but yeah, so this is basically just a tutorial on how to do this. Uh, it's not super difficult. So what you really want to do is you want to get an application um, called basically right here. So it's going to be, this is, a, I'm on a Mac as well, but it's side loady exclamation point. So, I mean, uh, let's see here. So I'm going to provide both links in the description for where you need to go. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to get side loady. So let me just really quickly just run th sorry about that glare guys here let me do do us a favor and close this and then let's see how this goes so are we doing a little better yeah that's that's much better guys uh whew. But yeah, I'll also, I just want to show you guys this. I got a King of the Hill flag. It is probably my favorite thing ever. But um, yeah, so we like just proof iPhone SE. Um, this I think this, uh, I don't know what other iPhone SEs this is going to work on. I just know this is the iPhone SE first generation. And uh, yeah, so this thing is also 70 bucks on eBay. So if you're, out, you're trying to have like a nostalgic jailbreak experience, this is the device for you. Um, I got a really clean looking device. Look, no camera bump. It's 12 megapixels. Um, really great quality camera. Like I took a really, really nice photo with that. Um, we'll just do, so here's the front of me looking bald because I just recently shaved all my hair off. <laughs> There's Lauren. And uh, <laughs> what up, dude? Um, uh, but yeah, so we got that. We got the joke. But yeah, anyway, so you're going to go to side loady. Um, so, so it's right here. It's just sideloady.io. You're going to go ahead and download the application um, and everything like that. And so what you're going to do also is you're going to go, when you download it, you're going to, on your Mac, you're just going to get this. Just click that and set up the application. And then you're going to get to a place like this where it says sideloady. Uh, it's going to update to whatever the newest version is. At the time, the newest version for me is 0.4, 0.2. Um, so you're just going to type in <laughs> your chips. <laughs> you're going to type in your own I, um, iCloud ID or whatever it is. And then you're going to hit, um, yeah, so you're going to get that. And this is not going to be here, right? So you're going to, you're going to get an application and download it called Pengu the 1.1 IPA. Um, and so you're going to go just to this website that I provide for you. It's going to be right here. Um, it's going to be the iOS ninja.io Pengu iOS 9.2 through iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak. And so when you get that, go ahead and download the IPA. You're going to drag it to your desktop. And so it's going to be this one right here. It's going to be Pangu V1.1 IPA. You're going to take that and you are going to come down here, uh, right here. And so when you first get your device um, kind of set up, it's gonna run through a process where it actually takes your device and it's gonna register the um, side loading thing on your device. So if you get an error where it says like, you know, the thing can't be signed, it's just because you haven't properly synced your device up. And so um, essentially just reopen it and it automatically should get your device set up. But if it doesn't, that's just the case. And so, yeah, but you're gonna go ahead and just literally do this. You're gonna, um, this is gonna be empty, right? You're gonna take this going to download it right there. So right dropped in and then you're just going to click start. It's going to run through process. It's going to drop it to your device and then you're going to go here. You're going to go into the device 
I love iOS 9, by the way, guys. I think it looks really good. I like it better than iOS 16, to be honest, or whatever one, 15, 16. But you're going to go to settings, general, and you're going to go profiles, um, to say, or device management, and then you're going to go to developer app, and you're going to click install. You're going to install this source. It's just from this thing you just typed in. Um, you're also, oh my bad, guys. You're also going to select the iPhone with your firmware. So Tom's iPhone, right? Da, da, da. Um, oh, yeah, you can see my serial number. That's okay. Hopefully you guys are gonna hack my device. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, basically you're just gonna verify and install it and you, then you're gonna go over to here. So the jailbreak was really quickly done. So you're gonna go in here, you're gonna click start. It's gonna ask you to basically just lock your phone screen. You're gonna pop it up. It's gonna be a little notification. It's gonna say, it's gonna say jailbreak completed, but you need to install some more. Then it's gonna respring your device. You're gonna go in. And you're literally just gonna go ahead and you're gonna get Cydia, you're gonna open it up and then hit changes. There's gonna be, uh, what do you wanna call it? There is just going to be, um, let's see here. It's gonna be the greatest thing ever because it's a motherfucking jailbreak boy. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, so yeah, you're gonna, for what am I even saying? Honestly, yeah, there's gonna be updates in Cydia that you need to do, but honestly, do butter smooth navigation, boy. Um, so this isn't the this isn't the newest device you can actually get to jailbreak. So the newest one you can do still is the um, iPhone 10, I believe, and that I want to say that came out um, a year after this. So in 2017, I believe, was the iPhone 10's release. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that was what the, when that was. So. That's the newest one, but I wanted that nostalgic iPhone 5S feel with no camera bump because I want to be able to do, you know, yada yada right here. Um, and honestly, so I don't know if it's they have winter board still. If it's. Dude. Oh, wait. Oops. Winter board. Yo, dude. Are you kidding? Okay, um, so two through 9.0, so I can't actually install it. Uh, winter border? Is it Frostboard? B-O-A-R-D. I don't know exactly which. I do know it's a different kind of name, but let's see here. Dude, I want to do this here. I want to do sources. This is so nostalgic. I don't even think it's going to work, but add, add. Uh, sweet, dude. I did a video like this a long time ago, but this is so exciting. C Y D. Cydia dot Haculo. Dot U S. Oh, God damn it. I typed it in wrong. Dude, is it gonna work? Oh, uh, boo! I don't. Yeah, I don't think it's alive. Um, yeah, dude, that's crazy. This is. I'm. Um, yo, guys, I'm just. I'm having a good ass time. Um, what can we do? Uh, honestly, I don't even know what you can do these days with Cydia. Um, it is sick seeing this though. This is so fucking crazy, guys. Yo, dude, I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm about to switch my uh, phone service over to this device. Fuck the new one. Dude, this nostalgic experience with a jailbreak? Are you fucking serious? Like, bro, okay, yeah. So basically, just a recap. Anyway, you guys, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna go to um, side loading exclamation point. You're gonna get that. So side loading.io, download it. You're gonna get your device registered by having it plugged in. Um, it's gonna pretty much sync up, right? You're gonna be good. You're gonna select your uh, right here. So you can select your firmware, right? And then you're gonna get your Apple ID typed in. You're gonna do that. It's gonna send it over to your device. You're gonna go in, you're gonna go settings, um, general, and then you're gonna go um, preferences or whatever the fuck it is, or device management, that's it. So device management, you can click your little developer app thing. Um, boom, 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 download that. Then you're gonna go in here and you're gonna go ahead and go jailbreak. 
Uh, start, it's gonna do that. It's gonna tell you to go to your lock screen or whatever, it's gonna jailbreak it, da, 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 da. respring your device, and boom, you are jailbroken. I don't know if this is tethered or not, so you might have to re-verify the source. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, but I, yeah, I, I hope this is a non-tethered jailbreak. I don't really know, to be honest, if it is tethered or not. But it, so basically, if it is tethered, you're basically not going to be able to use it until you plug it back in. And you basically, I think what it, you're going to have to just re-jailbreak re the device. But fortunately, since it's on the device, you're just going to go ahead and do that. Run this again. So it's, it's really not a, that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys very much for watching this and hopefully you guys can get your jailbroken device all situated. Thank you guys. Have a good day.